When you're making up to millions of parts a month, it really matters what form the material you use comes in as. Find out how an schematic coil-fed machine could save you thousands of pounds on your remnants, cycle times. Keep watching. Greg, we're here in front of the NM series machine. Now this is a beast. What can we do on this machine? What diameters? So we can coil feed material on this machine from four to eight millimeters diameter. Coil fed machine means that um, not like conventional lifts, we're working with coil material, not bar feeding, no bars. Uh, we straighten the material with our straightening system. The straightening system then um, removes the curve from the coil material which lets us work the material with the front end of the machine with our specialized Escomatic tool head. Uh, the NM series has got four rotating tools and that is Escomatic's typical uh, technological uh, pitted heads which is four rotating tool heads around the static material which permits us to knurl, cut, and turn any type of uh, material, whether it's titanium, brass, any sort of uh, steel alloys. And because the part's stationary, you can achieve really small diameters without the part whirling off and, and breaking. Exactly, so there's no cut-off end, and that is the speciality of uh, Escomatic. That's what we built our system on, was removing the parting off nose, and the rotating head lets us all the part while we're cutting or working the piece. And this NM series with four tools, what does that allow you to do? Is that all about different features or is it about sister tooling when you're running long, long uh, runs? Depending on the application of the customer, we can run four different tools. We can run two pairs of tools with an automatic changeover, which lets the machine run from anything from two to four weeks. Then we have more features on the NM series, front end working with uh, free uh, high speed spindles, 12,000 RPM. So that's for like a, a hole in the, exactly. in the front, a Cent pilot, a deep and a tap maybe. Centering, boring, tipping, and then we have a C-axis that can grab the part, work the back end with some milling, rotation, and even turning. Which on with this side almost looks like a, a little sliding head in and of itself, just in this little part it's, here. It's a mini sliding head working the back side of the machine. We can see there two turning inserts, uh, some mills, some taping, permitting us to also uh, go through a, a massive amount of different applications. What I, that's what I love is the different applications. So you've got a tap here, you've got a, a really high multi-fluted end mill, you've got kind of a center drill, a little spot drill, and a slitting saw as well. Exactly. I mean, so, so you could be doing. I mean, what features? Uh, what features can you do on this? And I assume the features are, are anything: gears, splines, slits. You name it, we can do it. I was going to say that's why when I say what features, I don't want you to have to try and list exactly. all of them. Exactly. If it's anything under eight millimeters and it's turned in high volumes, uh, the Escomatic machine is designed for that, and uh, we can absolutely manufacture any type of turned parts from. Uh, anything as small as uh, 0 0.3 millimeters, 28 millimeters, 30, uh, 300 millimeters in length. Uh, we, uh, we, we've really designed the machine to accommodate all the, the customer needs around eye volumes. So I know people would be normally, traditionally, especially in the UK, we've seen quite a few uh, shops that use uh, sliding head machines to manufacture connectors and, and dowel pins and whatnot. Where do you think, how do you think, how easy is it for, for those kinds of machine shops to start looking at a, a completely different co configuration machine and learn how to use it and get the best out of this machine? The, the only difference um, when you compare a normal a turning machine and an escomatic machine, you have to get to know how to straighten your material, which is easy once you, you, you know your material as well. And then you understand that the cutting tools are the same as the static turning tools on a, on a normal lathe. In this case, the tools are rotating. But the way you program is the same. You'll see that the, the control features are exactly the same and identical as any other lathe that you'll find on the market. And you've got a standard fanatic control here? Exactly. Uh, we'll see here that we have 12 axes on, on this machine. And once, uh, once the programmers understand the straightening of the material, you're back to standard normal lifts. Brilliant, so 12 axis, you've got basically a little sliding head here, and also the, the high speed tool rotating head here to, to achieve that productivity. But you also do a different configuration for this machine as well. Yes, so we have, this is the Flexi, the NM Flexi series. We have the NM Twin machine where we have two 
uh, working ads or C-axis, one on each side. It's called a twin because we mirror the work on each side of the machine, which effectively triples the output of the machine. While we're turning one part, we grab the part, we work on one side of the machine, another part has been turned, we take this part, we work on one on the left side of the machine. During this time, a third part has been manufactured, which brings us really, really high, uh, high throughput on the machine. For a simple or a, a big connector, we could be talking about 20 or 15, 20 parts per minute. 15 and 20 parts per minute. When I imagine those kinds of rates, I imagine a massive conveyor belt, a big assembly system. Uh, but this you can do on an schematic in, I don't know, that's about two and a half meters by, I don't know, a meter. It's a ridiculous floor space and a ridiculous output.